Hello everyone. Today I am going to teach you a very important lesson in English grammar. Without this class, you won't be understand about the language and about the grammar. How does it work? In order to understand where you have to put efforts, it is useless to learn this language. Right from the childhood, we have been learning by the method of translation from English to Hindi or English to English. I suppose that both these methods are full of flaws and pitfalls because after translating each and everything, you won't be able to understand what is the gist of English grammar. Now, in today's class, I will teach you how one can learn the language and the grammar because if you understand this concept, you will be able to write, you will be speak fluently like anything. So what are the things you need to pay attention? So here I will tell you what are the areas wherein one has to focus. First of all, whenever you come across any word, you have to pay attention whether it is noun, verb, adjective, adverb and how these can be placed in a particular sentence. I think this is the most important class that you need to pay attention. Now in this class I will teach you how will you identify the word whether it is noun or not. So let's start. So I am telling you certain key things by which you can easily understand whether it is noun or what. So the first point is meant. If you find any word ends with the suffix meant, it must be noun. Okay. So like commitment. sentiment so you can easily identify if any word ends with meant it must be noun in form is this clear now the second point is if the word ends with i t y it must be noun in form for example identity The third point is if any word ends with A C E or E N C E. For example, importance and influence. If any word ends with 2 plus first form of the verb. This is nothing but it, it is infinitive and infinitive is nothing but it will act as a noun. So I want to meet Ravi. So here meet will be noun as well as verb. Fifth point. If the word ends with tuned. It must be noun in form. For example, attitude. I hope you can easily understand by looking at the word itself whether it is noun or not. Okay. Now, the next suffix will be hood. If any word ends with the suffix hood, it must be noun in form. For example, childhood, 
and brotherhood right now the next word will be if the word ends with it like health and wealth so you must be wonder why these are very important actually without knowing the nature of the word you won't be able to use them specifically now we will discuss the important case of the verb wherein you will find that verb can be modified into noun in form <clears throat> so the verb can be changed into noun in form by the non finite verbs and in that you will find infinitive and gerund form that how a verb can be converted into noun in form so by certain examples i will try to explain you that how a verb can be used as a noun now for that we need to amend or change certain things in verbs by adding ing or to so let's begin with the explanation part if there is a verb like change this is a verb so it can be converted into noun in form by using the word to change this is a verb but if i write to change it will become as a noun similarly if the verb is concentrate it will be converted into noun in form by adding to plus first form smoke as you all know it is a verb smoke is a verb but if you want to change into noun in form you can either use to smoke and smoking so you will say sir we have a doubt in our mind because you will find the ing form in continuous tense also but in those cases you must have observed the helping verb preceding the ing form verbs isn't it like for example i am smoking right i am smoking so here since here you will find the helping verb so it must be verb but the same word smoking is used as a subject you will say that it will become a noun in form for example smoking is injurious to health now you need to understand that i have just explained you that if any word ends with th word it must be noun in form for example here this is what this is noun this is what noun why noun because i have used the word smoking in place of a subject and subject must be noun in form is 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 nothing but it is the form of the form d form as you all know b form whenever you come across the word b form the first form will be is r am and the second form will be was and were and third form will be been this is the third form second form and first form so after the b form you will find what adjective right so this is the adjective and this is preposition and after preposition you will find what noun form so what have you understood 
out of my explanation that each and every word must be justifying their positions if you have understood this basic concept of how any word works in a particular sentence you will be able to write and speak with full confidence Oh, 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 oh,